We're here at Helton Creek Falls. Doing a little leaf watching today. Thought I'd come down to the falls and get some pictures. There's the old Logan Turnpike Trail. We're here at Tesnity Gap, and we're gonna buck tradition. Everybody's going up to Cow Rock, and uh, that's fine. Beautiful views up there, been there many times. Fell at the road, I mean, uh, parking lot said, a lot of the leaves have already come down up there. So, uh, but he thought he saw some color over here on Wildcat, so we're gonna get on Wildcat, but we gotta climb first, <laughs> of course, but, uh, yeah, I think last time I climbed this was with Bubba. And I had to promise him some ice cream to get him up here. But yeah. Nine tenths of a mile to hog pen. We can see across to Cow Rock there. And uh, he said there was a lot of leaves down. But when you're right in it, you can see that. From a distance though you get some color we're climbing you can hear me breathing hard but uh trying to go slow because i got a jacket on and i don't want to warm up too much i'm also on leviquin sometimes that can cause your tendon some issues i get a like a light bulb pulse the outside of both of my knees today it's only my left one and uh, I don't want to tear something of these tendons under the influence of that Leviquin so I've hiked with it before in my body so. but you never know anyway me and Miss Haley were headed up this climb and had to stop a number of times on the third day of a three-day hike I teased her a little bit but the truth is Haley I was I was glad <laughs> I was glad you were stopping well we made it to the crags We're close to the top, getting there. 
All right, I kind of came up to the red stop here. I took my jacket off because it was just getting warm. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're making our way up here to Wildcat. So we can see down and out pretty good. But we should have a nice perch up here to look out shortly. Very windy and that wind is cold. Well, here we go. We can see across to Cow Rock over there. See if we can get out here without plummeting to our death. I think Cloud Rock proper is here. And then if you drop down, you can take trails that'll take you all the way out to those other two faces. That one out there's a really nice vantage point for seeing things. Color's good, real good. Hopefully the camera's picking that up. I was expecting sunshine today, but it didn't come or has it come yet. It's looking like it's gonna be later in the day. But we're getting enough reflection to at least tell that there's some good color, especially down there in that holler. We were right there a minute ago. This is the other perch. Me and Haley and everyone splayed out here for a break when we came through here on our section hike. You could see rock face all the way down and then back over here. And I may have been mistaken. I think maybe Cow Rock is over here, but you could kind of see. That's some more popular vantage point over there but we're back in tradition today man that's what we're doing well when these oaks drop their leaves this will be a good vantage point too we're almost where the uh at splits off and the shelter trail down to Whitley Gap, 1.2 miles forks off to the right. Here shortly, as I said. And as I've said before, Whitley Gap shelter is technically an AT shelter, but it's really more like a random cabin in the woods because it is way off trail. <laughs> it really is. It's even worse than Woods Hole, which is, I think, a half mile, maybe. Maybe even a little further. But it's nothing like this one. There's our blue blaze. The AT is hooking around to the left. Hog pen is maybe three tenths of a mile that way. The highway's right there. That's probably why I wouldn't think this shelter here gets a lot of use. But it's there for a reason if you need it. If you don't feel like catching a ride at Hog Pen, you want to make some more miles. We'll make our way through this laurel tunnel. Got a little bit of a view here, and sun's trying to come out, so. With any luck, we'll get a splash of color when the sun pops out when we get up here, which would be very nice. So we actually uh, dropped and are saddling over to Wildcat and as you can see there are leaves here and that's what that guy in the parking lot said it looked like Wildcat still had leaves more than Cow Rock. That's probably because Cow Rock's probably a little bit higher would be my guess. So at the very tops of a lot of the mountains around here the leaves are coming down. 
And this is probably the by far the peak weekend to see to see the leaves. So I'm really glad I got out today. We're getting a little bit of sun too. This is awesome. Trail here with a view it looks like maybe. I don't know if this is a wildcat slab proper. I don't believe it is. But I can go out here a little ways and take a look. I think I remember coming out here. Oh yeah. We're gonna get a really good look at the slope. Over here at Cal Rock too. Yeah, this pine tree's gonna be right in our way, so we may just have to wait till we get up to the to the main overlook, but beautiful. I don't know how well you see this, but this is looking over over to Cal Rock as well. I believe Cal Rock proper is actually further up there. And this is the stuff you see if you go down down the trail a little ways. And it all looks out into the valley. Here we are with some company. The only folks up here beside me. I'm just trying to get a vantage point. But this is kind of it. Beautiful. Trees are obscuring this a little bit, but it's still beautiful. Make our way down. Back on the AT proper. Making our way back to Tesnetty. Tesnetty. Windy, windy, windy. Everyone knows it's windy. This is a fall hiking here. Look, you got some sun. Laying out over Cow Rock out there. Some light setting off these leaves. It's just awesome. Again, down in the holler there. So we make our way back to old Gobi. Back at that first perch. We're getting a little bit of light now. Looking over at Cow Rock down in the valley back at the crags when i was here earlier as soon as i saw them my battery died we've been here before but those of you who haven't seen it it's a nice little area you can almost kind of kind of camp in there kind of cool this little area, some rocks. Probably protect you from this wind. <laughs> Might not be a bad place to be. We were sectioning out here today. Anyhow, we're starting our descent down to Testament Gap proper. This kind of kicks off the 
steep descent. We'd be there directly. Well, we're leaving Ravencliff Wilderness there. I can get it out of my mouth. We're here at Testa T, back at old Gobi. Hopefully nobody broke in and got my silly putty. I think I'll spread that out over a newspaper later and see if I can lift off a story, maybe a cartoon, or better yet, Braves win the World Series. Because by the time you watch this, we'll know if they did or not. We're leading right now, three games, three games to two, I think. So, hopefully we get it done tonight. But yeah, lots of color today, which is good. That's what this trip's about. Driving, looking at color, going in, looking at an overlook. So, anyway, let's get back to the truck and find another spot. Fiona, hearts beyond. In a real popular spot. <laughs> ah, it's a people over here. So. Anyway, back in the truck. Hey, it's Uncle Joe with Uncle Joe Hikes here at uh, Testing the Tea Gap again. Why? Because there's still a good bit of leaves on the trees. And the sun is actually out a little earlier today. So some people are arguing this is peak. I think peak was probably between last weekend and this week and myself. But we're out getting some more leaf looking. And I thought this time we'd go up to Cal Rock and maybe go out if we can get out there to that point. And... Uh, See if we can get some views up there. And I need the hike. So, yeah, we've been up here many times, but uh, probably not in peak. So, here we go. Look across the Wildcat where I was last week. A little slab over there and then saddle your way around. Last week, uh, guys said a lot of the trees on this side were losing leaves, and we see some of that. Still, should see some good color. The downside of doing cow rock is the sun's on that side. So we won't get quite the pop that we will like on the overlook on the highway up here that looks, looks north. Tried to think of some north facing stuff and really can't think of any good north facing overlooks that I could hike out to, uh, you know, which is a shame. You know, I'd had to go to something like Rabin and get a 360 or go up into North Carolina. I thought about doing that, like White Rock or, or one of those, White Mountain, uh, Scaly, some of those. But more of a drive. This way I got to do some sightseeing on the way in, which is always nice. So We'll see what it's like when we get out there. But uh, right now, yeah, finish getting up this hill. <laughs> so we got to go up here, go across that little saddle, and then make our way around up to cow rock so yeah ain't gonna hike itself <laughs> barely 20 yards later <laughs> beautiful color this is all looking looking south beautiful down in there i'll see if i can find the footage but we've walked through here before and it just be you know well over hip high of weeds growed over not really growed over not across the trail but high weeds come here in the fall and it's 
it's all down all day it's kind of nice actually <laughs> you know reduce your chance of picking up anything so that's good all right we're making our way kind of back on the back side of this hill before we start our last climb what i believe to be the last climb which will take us up to cow rock side trail out to a perch here and see if we see anything Yeah, wild cat out there. Good view. Keep the camera behind this tree here, so maybe it'll pick up some good stuff. We're done with our 48 zigzags, or however many it was, and yeah, we're on cow rock. And the colors are awesome. Look at that. Got Yona out there watching over his kingdom. Wildcat. Make our way up a little further. When you come to Cal Rock, if you step over the ledge right in front of you, it takes you to this trail. And this is where you want to go. It's a little bit growed over. But it's well worth it. Doesn't get beaten out nearly enough, but this is where you want to go. Kind of a tongue it's going to go out here and basically end and so your first really good overlooks right here <laughs> and it's it's just spectacular and you can see straight across to to cow rock i mean to uh wildcat cow rock we're on cow rock you moron <laughs> But you, you just can't get much. This is just panoramic. You can see all the way to, <coughs> you see all the way to uh, Brass Town, which I think is, I don't think it's the one with the point. I think it's the one in the very, very back, back there. But you just can't, you can't beat this. You can see the highway down there snaking out of Tessna T, making its way up to Hog Pen. Good view of Yona out there. I mean, you, you just can't beat this view. It's just phenomenal. It really is. Yeah. Very freaking nice right there, buddy. <laughs> All right, we're out here on the point. And people say, what's the point? You can say, here it is. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, Yona, looking over us. Yep, I'm doing that one next weekend. And he's probably passing judgment on us right now. <laughs> Where's the, you can see the one we do in this. Yeah, I was talking to those ladies. They're getting ready to do Yona tomorrow. But this is just the kind of place you don't want to leave. <laughs> you just wish you could have your coffee here every morning then really you wish these colors would stay every single day sadly they're going to go away in the next few days but in the meantime this is just phenomenal It's so quiet, I can hear my tinnitus, or my tinnitus, my potato or my potato. But I can also hear the bees buzzing around. 
Thank goodness we don't have to pay for this other than to climb up. <laughs> this is just beautiful. It's just, you know, what can you say? All right. Coming back out to Cal Rock. Just showing them where the trail goes in there. So when you're up here on Cal Rock and you come up and you take your little seat here, you want to drop down and go. One last look. We're on our way down. All right, heading back down. Let people on the way up know to be sure and hit that point out there. And that's where the where the good pictures are going to be. I mean, they're good at Cal Rock proper, but going out there to the to the overlooks so at the bottom down there or out on that point are just spectacular. Met another lady going up. Her name's Cat. Hope you're watching Cat. I think I got Cat her trail name. We got to talking. She said she didn't have one. And as uh, I was walking away, I thought, well, Hiker Cat would be good. So I hollered back to her. So that she was going to check out the channel clearly she needs a good night's sleep it's a good place to get one <laughs> but uh yeah hopefully you're watching cat and hope you like your trail name but well, we've got to get down i don't mean get down and buggy i just mean get down <laughs> all right we're back at the gap the old goby down there waiting on us Hopefully nobody broke in and got my pack of jawbreakers. I need a few calories when I get down yonder. <laughs> 